You think you know games with strange numbering traditions? Well, hold on to your hat, because I'm about to bring you possibly the most unusual series of game names you have ever heard. Takara's Choro Q franchise, marketed in the West as Penny Racers, has had a number of different video games based off it. Some of these were brought over to the West, which meant giving them localised titles. And these localised titles, well, to put it lightly, they're a little bit weird. The first ever Choro Q video game was for MSX machines, and in Japan, it was entitled simply Choro Q. This game did not have a wide Western release, coming out exclusively in Spain under the title Buggy. The first game to get a pan European release was Choro Q for the PlayStation 1, released across Europe as Penny Racers. Fun fact this incarnation was developed by none other than Tamsoft, the self same Tamsoft who would go on to develop, of all things, Senran Kagura. I have to wonder, how on earth did they get from making kids games about cars to otaku games about boobs and underwear? But I digress. The next game in the franchise to be released in the West, and also the first to be released stateside, was Choro Q64 for, as you can probably tell, the Nintendo 64 three years later. In both the US and Europe, this was also retitled, quite simply, Penny Racers. So, so far we have two different games, both called Penny Racers, released three years apart from each other on different consoles. That's relatively innocuous so far, but we've yet to delve into the real meat of this confusion. The next game in the series to be released in the West was Choro Q HG for the PlayStation 2, released in Europe, again, as just Penny Racers. For some reason though, in the US, they decided it would be a better idea to retitle the game Gadget Racers, and for the following game, Choro Q Advance, the same names as the PS2 games were used in both regions. Penny Racers for Europe, Gadget Racers for America. This is important, for reasons I'll be talking about later. So now in Europe we have four games across four different consoles, all with the same name, and in the USA we have two different names emerging which in actual fact both refer to the same franchise. And the next Western release was where the poop really started to hit the proverbial fan. Shoto Q HG2, also for the PlayStation 2, was localised under neither of the aforementioned names. Instead being seemingly inexplicably given the completely different name of Road Trip Adventure, or for the European release a year later, just plain old Road Trip. Meanwhile, there was also Shin Combat Choro Q, a combat-oriented spin-off with less of a focus on the racing side of things. Obviously, neither Penny Racers nor Gadget Racers would really fit here, so this also got its own separate name, Seek and Destroy. So now, whereas in Japan the franchise has one name, in Europe we have three separate names, and in America we have four. The next game to go west was Choro Q Advance 2. This is the point where the weirdness hits its absolute peak. Remember earlier I talked about Choro Q HG and Choro Q Advance being localised as Penny Racers in Europe and Gadget Racers in the USA? In the States, Choro Q Advance 2 went under the Road Trip header, becoming Road Trip Shifting Gears. However, in Europe, for some unknown reason, they decided to name it Gadget Racers. Just plain old Gadget Racers exactly the same name as its predecessor in the US. So now we have the situation where, depending on where you live, the name Gadget Racers can refer to either one of two different games for the Game Boy Advance. And this weirdness was cemented further with the Western release of Choro Q HG3. The US release was going to be named Road Trip Adventure Avenue before being cancelled, but in Europe it was once again simply named Gadget Racers, which if you'll remember, was also the American name of the first Choro Q HG game. The name was then used again for the European localization of the GameCube title Choro Q exclamation mark, which was released in the US as Road Trip the Arcade Edition. And just to ice the cake, when Choro Q HG4 came westward, they didn't use any of these names, and simply released it in both regions as plain old Choro Q, adding yet another name to the hat of identities. So let's count up all the names we've accrued here. We have Buggy. Penny Racers, Gadget Racers, Road Trip, Seek and Destroy, and Choro Q. This one franchise has been referred to by six different names at various points and in various regions over the course of its Western release history. And all five of the Gadget Racers games have exactly the same name, meaning that Gadget Racers for the GBA refers to either the first GBA game or the second one, and Gadget Racers for the PS2 can refer to either the first PS2 game or the third one. Luckily, Takara's marketing guys have probably since taken note of this tangled web of weirdness, as the only Choro Q game to be released in the West since then reverted to the Penny Racers brand in both Western regions, coming out as Penny Racers Party Turbo Q Speedway. But still, the damage has been done, and the Choro Q series has left behind arguably one of Western gaming's most confusing naming conventions to date. I've been Deuterium the Sentient Mattress, and this has been a little bit weird. Do you think you can name a franchise with even more confusing names? Stick it in the comments below, or join my Discord server, 
and mention it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!